be within 30 minutes uh, of, uh, of the hospital, so I can't be anything further. Once you get called, then you come in and uh, expect it to, uh, you know, uh, take care of that patient, um, and uh, that could come at any time. Usually, these are um, like in the middle of night or early morning um, that you, you come in. For any IR, it's pretty much similar as long as you're in, in a major uh, hospital. Uh, because any major hospital will have some sort of trauma. But level one trauma takes it to another level um, because uh, you're always um, be dealing with uh, uh, life-threatening issues. If you're not exposed to volume of cases, uh, you're not going to be able to kind of refine your technique and uh, be good at it. So you have to be at a, a busy uh, trauma center, and those busy usually trauma centers are uh, public uh, hospitals. All these techniques which are used in trauma are already uh, in a repertoire of uh, interventional radiologists, because uh, we do uh, all interventionalists do embolizations. All interventionalists know how to stop a vessel which is bleeding. I think there are multiple uh, even uh, hands-on stuff and training available during the SIR uh, annual meeting and there are symposia on tr uh, trauma as well. So if you're not familiar with that, I would encourage you to attend.